Hello, my most amazing art students. So today we're going to be changing up this project a little bit. This is what I normally do <laughs> when we're in school and we use tempera paint. And we use this amazing um, tool, drawing tool, painting tool, which is our finger. And we create all of our tulips with our finger. Well, we not everyone has access to tempera paint. So we're going to go ahead and switch it up. And we're going to do something a little bit different. You just need a black crayon for today. And we're going to um, find the middle of our paper. And I do that by going like this. And I, got, I just start on the edges of the paper and bring my fingers together at the same speed. And that's our middle. And I'm going to draw a horizontal line across my paper. Just like that. And I'm going to... But give myself a dot. Can't really see it too well. About in the middle of that line. Now, what? Um, could have used a ruler for that. It's fairly straight. There's a little bump. Okay. What we're going to do with our ruler is create these um, radiating lines, these perspective lines. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six lines, okay? And we don't have to have six. We could have five. It doesn't matter. But you want to line up your ruler with the dot and put it out to the edge of your paper and just use your crayon just like that. And we're just going to go down, do another one. Another one, and all of the lines come from this dot. Okay. Um, that's just the, that's the most important thing to remember. We, all of our lines have to come from the dot. All right. So, since we can't um, use our fingers with, and finger paint, some of you got, you know what, if you guys want to do that, I'm all for that. If you have tempera paint or acrylic paint that your mamas or daddies will let you use, go for it. Um, and you can just dip your finger in the paint. Not watercolor, it doesn't work that way, but um, acrylic or tempera. But what we're going to do for those of us that have limited supplies is we're going to do um, tulips, impressionistic tulips. Okay, um, just like Monet did, he, um, and I just picked a color palette, a floral color palette, and we're just going to make little U or Vs. We're going to fill up our space, and I'm going to mix up the colors so that they're not all um, the same color in one area. So I'm, what I'm going to do is, and I should tell you this, I'm going to do a little V all the way up to the tiniest spot just like that filling in my areas all right and then we're going to go back and as they get um as the tulips are closer to you they're going to get larger so you can make bigger v's the closer they are to you. What color did I do? I did this orange color. I'm just going to fill in any white areas um, with some orange. Just like that. Okay. And then I'm going to switch it up and do... Oh, I always pick this yellow. It's not my favorite yellow. Okay. It's really... Um, I like the more sunshiny golden yellows. I guess I'm partial. Please don't judge me. Um, it's okay if you like certain colors more than others. I love all the colors, but some of them more so than others. All right, my loves. All right. And then maybe we'll go with, you know what? Do we have another? We got this lovely yellow. What is this yellow called? This call, the yellow that I don't love is called yellow. The yellow that I love is called dandelion. Go figure. 
So I'm just going to add some of my non-favorite yellow into here. Crazy. Mrs. Buck is crazy. It's all right. And we're just creating our little UVs. Um, then I'm going to go on to this. Notice that I'm not changing. Um, I'm not slanting my U's. I'm just keeping them straight up and down. Like my U's are not... Um, I don't know how to say it. They're not going in this direction. They're not slanting. I'm just drawing them like as if... Because in perspective, they wouldn't really slant. All right. All right. And then what should I add in there? Should I put some pink in there? Oh, yeah. Who doesn't love a good orange and pink combo? It's interesting because my least favorite um, combination of colors, I call it peas and carrots. I don't know. Whenever we draw with orange and green, it kind of hits me weird. I'm always like, ah, not my favorite. It's not my favorite. Um, I'm going to fill this in a little bit more with color. Orange and green together. And guess what we're going to paint over the top of here to give us that green that Monet added into his. So you're just going to keep going with this. I think, do we have a purple? I might add a purple in this. That might be fun to add a nice violet. What color is this? Blue violet. Do we have a red violet? Is that what I'm using here? Violet red. Red violet. Yeah. Already using it. Look at that. All right. So you're just going to continue, continue filling in all these spaces. And then I'm just going to show you. I'm not going to finish doing all these today because, well, let me fill this one in with this red violet um, overlapping color and you know what's interesting is I don't I'm not in love again I, Miss Buck is kind of super picky about um, I said I wasn't going to do it about the colors of um, green that comes in this I the green that they give us here in this watercolor palette is not my fave it's really super bright green so you know what I'm going to do to it I'm going to add a little bit of blue into it and make it more of a toned down green, like a blue green. And then we're going to go ahead and paint over the top of these um, flowers. Probably need some more green. I went a little crazy on the blue. So we need to have it be bright. So. There we go. Mix up your color however you like it. There we go. That looks awesome. And then paint over the top. Do that all the way around. And you can even change it up and make it more of a yellow green by adding um, some of this yellow over the top. Your fields can be different. <laughs> you guys, it's been a long break. All right. Paint that over the top. There we go. Let's go back to my blue green. Ooh, I like it. All right. So there are some. There are some of my fields with my different colored flowers. Next week, after you finish this and let it dry, we're going to come in and we're going to draw our windmill at the top. And we're going to add an impressionistic sky to it with our hands, the same way we did um, the, the bottom here. So um, I guess if you guys wanted to, you could just paint one color green over the whole thing. I like it with the varying, the different colors of greens. Okay, so keep working at it. Finish it up. No submission today. We'll wait till next week. Um, till it's all the way completed till I see what you've done. Thanks for joining me today, you guys. I will see you next week.